Let me tell you a story about Napoleon. And by the way, if you have a low attention span, please click off this video because this channel is not for you. Napoleon and the French people have been at war with the British for centuries. The French and the British were superpowers in European history and have always been in conflict with one another for greater world power. One of the countries that the British had great control over that significantly influenced the power and the size of their empire was India. The reason for this was that India had a lot of resources and abundance that basically fed the British Empire. Napoleon was very aware of how important India was to the British Empire. Instead of invading India directly, he invaded Egypt instead. Why Egypt, you might ask? Egypt, being located where it is, was a crossroads in between Europe, Africa, and Asia. By invading Egypt, it not only disrupted trade routes to India, but also to countries in the Far East, the Middle East, as well as surrounding Africa in the Mediterranean region. This would significantly diminish the strength of the British Empire. And this is exactly what happened. Napoleon invaded Egypt and won an initial series of battles which made him a front runner in Egypt during this time. And this is when something very interesting happened. Napoleon was presented with a very vital and critical decision. He could have immediately continued moving east into India and attacking the British forces from there. And being the intelligent military leader he was, he knew that his current resources and supply lines were depleted, so going after India right now would not make sense because he would immediately lose. So instead, he used the remaining resources that he had to further gain control and remain strong within Egypt. And instead, this was smart because Egypt was a focus and a vital point for feeding all of these other trade routes. And while Napoleon ended up being successful immediately in Egypt, the campaign ultimately failed. But while Napoleon did lose this battle, he gained something far greater in the long run. This smart and intelligent invasion of Egypt not only made Napoleon a household name in Europe for his military genius, it put France on the global stage. France's overall reputation grew tremendously for their courage to even attack the British superpower at this time, which was the strongest army in the entire world. Also, this battle within Egypt grew Napoleon's overall military experience, which allowed him to gain a lot of experience and knowledge, which influenced his decisions in later battles, which made him one of the strongest military generals of all time, and then finally emperor of France. Napoleon, had he wanted to, if he was influenced by greed, could have immediately moved east and attacked India. What would have probably happened is that he would have likely died and have been quickly forgotten. But his ability and his patience to say no made him into the person that we all know today. By the way, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Mwah. Now, the story that I just explained presents a very valuable lesson, and that is the importance of saying no. As you can see by the title, that is exactly what this video is about. Now, many of you watching this video are not military leaders or any leader for that matter. But every single day, we are presented with two options at a fundamental level, and that is to do or not to do. You have the option to stop working and go down to the basement and play video games when you're tired or you're bored. You have the option to hang out with your friends that you don't really like on a Friday night to avoid loneliness and avoid the pain of working on yourself. You have the option to eat that cake or refuse it for once and actually start seeing that definition around those abs that you've always wanted to. I myself have been faced with so many temptations and options recently that it's been really hard on me, I can't lie. And to give you a very specific example, I recently just graduated, I just made a video of it called the three things you should know before going to college if you're young and haven't gone to college yet. I strongly suggest that you watch that video, I'll leave that in the description of this video. Now, anyone that has just recently graduated, got some money from family and just had their paycheck hit. I just had all of these ideas of things that I could immediately buy once I saw this all this money hit at the same time. So I immediately thought I could finally get those New Balance sneakers that I've always wanted. I could actually finally get that boxing bag that I've wanted to put on my basement for a minute now. There are so many clothes that I've wanted specifically for summer. After debating for days and almost a, a week or two of what I was going to buy, I ended up buying none of them. 
And the reason for this is that I sat there long and hard and I thought, what is it that I actually want in my life? And what is it that I want to have in the future? The main things that I've just wanted right now is that I want to stop being broke overall and I want to set myself up for a greater life and future. And the only way I'm gonna be able to do that is through money and using money as a tool to set myself up for greater success. I could have just spent this money now on some sneakers that I would have forgotten about in a week or two. Whereas if I invest this money into this channel, this could grow eventually in the future. This could start paying me so I could start buying as many pairs of shoes as I want. That's the, that's the kind of thinking that I had when I was going through these decisions of what is it that I actually want. So with that being said, you are going to see a lot of improvements and advancements in this channel. And hopefully the decisions that I've just made by saying no to all of my immediate needs and desires, I've made the conscious decision to actually focus on what's important right now. But to quickly just explain why saying no is so important and why I'm even making this video is that especially if you're a young guy in your 20s, you just have so many things just begging for your attention, so many things that are interesting to you and things that you want to explore and to do. You've seen plenty of videos of this in the past that in order to get what you want, you just need to focus on a couple of things and really just dial in on those things day in and day out to get what it is that you really want. It's a lot easier said than done because again, we have our friends that are begging for our attention. We want, we want to go out with girls and eventually get a girlfriend. We want to go out on these expensive vacations. We want to go out every week so we don't feel like we're missing out. We want to get new clothes, new shoes to show that we're in style, that we're trendy. We want to do all of these things, but we know none of those things are going to get us to where we actually want to be and that'll make us happy and fulfilled. And that's why saying no, especially when you're young, is critically important. By learning to say no, you start to form clarity in your life. And it's this lack of clarity that you're anxious, you're confused, you're lost. It's because you're saying yes to every decision in your life. When you're working, you're also scrolling, you're also playing video games, you're also saying yes to hanging out with friends later. By learning to say no, it's the greatest act of self-care because you're building your self-esteem. You're setting boundaries as to what you will do and what you will not do. It stops, it prevents people in your life from treating you like trash where they can just use you when they need or call you when they're bored so that you can hang out with them so they don't have to feel bored or lonely or whatever it might be. You start to prioritize and set yourself first and you start to reduce all of the clutter and the noise in this very loud and distracted world. So what's the solution? How do we learn to say no to more things, especially when you're young? The very first tip that I'll give you that I've given in every single one of my videos is just prioritizing your mental health. When you prioritize your mental health, you your cravings reduce. Your cravings for doing these disgusting activities that I always mention reduces significantly. But the very second thing, which is honestly just as important, if not more, is that you need to set goals big goals. Once you have goals that are worth sacrificing for, once you're presented with these two options to do the good thing or to do the bad thing and to learn to say no to this bad thing, you need to have goals that are even worth going after. You could, for example, set the goal of losing 10 pounds by the end of this year, or you could set the goal of becoming an Olympic athlete by your early to mid 20s. Which do you think is going to be more profound and have much more of an effect when someone offers you a bag of chips or someone offers you to go out on the weekend and it's gonna disrupt your sleep and training? The second goal, because it's so big, is going to take you so much further than you could have ever anticipated. For example, instead of setting the goal of just hitting $10,000 a month, I've said that before, but I've never ever hit that because why that's not important to me. Instead, you set the goal of hopefully being able to retire your parents early. Hopefully you can finally take them on a family vacation that they've never been able to go out on. Set the goal of becoming the person that whenever someone in your family needs money, they come to you. That might seem like a bad thing, but think about how much of an important person and the responsibility that puts on you. Think about what that'll do for your confidence and self-esteem, that when people need solutions, they need money, they come to you and no one else. 
set the goal of having a building in your university named after you. It's by setting goals that are this big that when you're faced on the day-to-day -day decisions of should you do this or that, it becomes an easy decision. I'm not going to say that this overall process and this journey is easy, especially if you're young and you're in your 20s and you want to do all these different things. But setting goals this big introduces a bit of clarity and introduces a little bit of tunnel vision into your life because what you're going to be presented with these decisions every single day you might as well be focused on the goal that is so big that is so outrageous rather than this tiny minuscule goal that everyone sets that is realistic and that you're likely to hit if you think that's going to be the case then every time you're presented with this other bad decision you're going to end up doing it and you're never going to actually hit this goal as always i wish you all the utmost success because there's plenty for all of us Mwah.